Okay. We're going to run through some throws now, put the power slams in. What we're going to start with is we'll show you the throw. We'll break the throw down, basic component parts. We'll show you how to add the power, then how it can be used in a street at a proper application. Obviously, we've got to tone the power down slightly when we do this, mainly because we don't want to put someone through these mats here. Good as they are, they're not really thick enough to be able to take it on the partners. Thank you. All right, we're going to do a basic slam. You're going to lift from the balance points, turn, lower your partner to the floor. We'll show this gently first, I'll show you the application, how it would work. So first with my partner here, for whatever reason he's attacked me, he's a mug, third vicious, I'm going to drive in. So I drag the arm from the elbow, past my head, in. I'm going to hit here, first balance point, take the bone, into here, clamp and hold him. I lift, difficult because he's heavy, tilt him and lower him down. Nice and gently done. Now we can do this just a bit quicker here, so slip, hit, lift and down. Talking about adding the power now, the power is the wave. We're going to add the wave by putting the knees, the hips, the belly, the back, then the shoulders, then lower down. I'll do it first on Chris, then I'll show you the full slam on the bag so you can see how it works. So we're here, slip it, then the wave, and down. By adding the wave, suddenly there's less effort, the throw works better. Okay, thank you. Right. Just drag the bag out. Again, imagine this is my partner. Hit and hold. Wave in. Lift. Down. On mats, it's uncomfortable. On concrete, that's it. Thank you. Next, we're going to do the hip throw. Now these throws work best if you've got an attacker that's coming forwards. They're charging into you almost, breaking their way through. You're going to get forced back, thrown away, beaten up, knocked over. Hip throw nice and easy. All you're going to do is turn yourself inside so that your hips are underneath his hips. And simply lift them up and down. Let them roll off the side. Okay, here now you can break. Ah! shots that you need. Now again that's fine, working if you can from a partner coming in, so as he comes forward you hit him, throw him. Now we're going to add the power to that, again the same basic wave principle. Because I'm turning, I'm only going to be able to wave one leg, one hip. So you do the same, the knee, the hip, the belly, the shoulder, in the arm. So I'm gonna, my wave comes up and down. It almost looks like a stamping motion with this leg. So here, find the bars. As the attack is here, I hit him and stamp it. Again, we're being kind to our partner by turning them to land safely. I'm gonna land you on your back now, but I'm not gonna throw you as hard. So you can see how you would apply this straight onto the floor. Here we've hit, turn, stamp, drive down. Here's one of the other throws, classical throw, Tayatoshi, um, called the body drop. Used again mainly for opponents, fairly static but swinging. He's going to be coming and swinging at me here. Now, I don't want to be taking too many of these because this is going to hurt. I'm standing here, just getting hurt. So I'm going to step in. I'll be inside his circle here. As he's coming in, I'm going to hit him and turn, tripping him up over my leg. So effectively, I don't want to be carrying his weight. I just trip him up. That's the basic throw, the basic concept. We add the wave now, again we've said the wave is the principle of the leg, so the ankle, knee, hip, shoulder, and then the arm. Again here it almost looks like a stem, rather than a circular. Here, slowly and steady, stepping in, stepping out, 
waving at me. Each time I'm turning my partner so that he lands safely on his side. If we don't want him to land on his side, I can land him on his back. But again, that's a, something that's going to hurt slightly more. So it's straight down. These are for turning attacks. Somebody's just swinging. One more time here, nice and quick. There's your shot. Same thing, just run through it so you can see the turn. As he swings, I'm going to be stepping into his circle here to hit him. Getting away from his arm, pulling him off balance and forwards. Stepping across. Now the wave comes with the leg, so the stamp is to lift here. It's all with the back leg, waving and hit. Your shots thereafter. Yeah. Nice and easy. Okay, now for something that's going to work better on a partner or opponent who's bigger than you are. The guy's hitting you is much bigger. He's stronger, he's hitting me, he's hitting down. I'm in trouble here. It's hard for me to get in too close, trying to do the lift throws, anything difficult, so I want to tuck underneath this arm. If on Sinagi, the shoulder throw. I'm curling in, hit with the elbow if you like, slink under this arm, and turn. Simply down, same kind of position for the hip throw, and then spring from the legs to turn them over your back. Don't lift with your back because you're going to put strain on your back. If you keep your elbow touching your knee, then you remove any movement between your legs and your back. One more time, just with a simple throw. Elbow, hip, down. Throw. So this is where you can see a bigger person falling over you. We add the power now, the wave. Same basic principle, it means you can hit someone heavier, someone stronger. The wave again is the hip, knee, back, shoulder, down. Looks almost like a stamp here for the throw. Slowly again. In. And it becomes much easier to throw them. Bear in mind this is landing on nice spongy soft floors. The person who's being thrown has done 10, 12 years of jiu-jitsu can land. The person you'll be throwing in the street one. This is a face landing. Fairly quick. Hit. Okay, the next couple of throws we're going to show you. You can do them, but don't do them without crash mats. Okay? If you want to start the throw, you can do